Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cat or Disney Diva. If you're new here, welcome friends. Today's video is going to be on mainly my lounge fly collection. This is going to be a two part one. Today is going to be mainly from Very Nico and Funko. Um, and the next part will be the rest of my lounge fly plus other places I've brought Disney bags from. So let's get started. So the first one I've got is my main man, as you can tell behind me. This is the only one I did pre-order and I did get this from Ready, oh, excuse me, Get Ready Comics. Um, as you can tell, this is an Eeyore only exclusive lounge fly. So sort of the cosplay type one. He does come with a front pocket zip, which has got the adorable pictures of him inside. You got your plaque, just Disney lounge fly at the bottom there. You do have a movable tail. Um, thing with this is, is it has got proper fluff on the bottom so you don't really particularly want him to get wet and also obviously his hair this is obviously all faux leather his hair does stick up a little bit beyond the bag so you just have to be a bit more careful that he doesn't get bent or anything like that and also movable ears inside you do have the same print as what you do have in the smaller pocket at the front no side pockets but does have a inside zip with this one this is the only one i did pre-order all the other bags i've just purchased as i went along and this is also the only one i did get the matching wallet um it's a larger sort of wallet same print on all over print as what is inside the bag and if i open it up for you Card well, like you've got a coin purse bit there and a bit there for your notes and just some other additional areas. Silver hardware on this with just like the lounge fly on there, but you do get your lounge fly tag again on there. So I meant to show you the back of the bag. On the back of the bag, you do have Eeyore and it says, thanks for noticing me. So I have to say for this, it's very sort of, App because thank you for noticing me he's my soul animal i love him so that is eeyore he's a, only came out in october but i actually pre-ordered him back in august so i was getting very impatient but he's here now love him to pieces um definitely one of the ones i've used the most so far out of all my collection so that is the only one i did get from that particular company so now i'm going to move on to the ones from very nico um i'm not sponsored by anybody this is all done with my own money so just so you all know right let's crack on so the first one i got from very nico i'd seen this a lot on instagram i just absolutely loved it it's the princess inspired ones but it's sort of donut design so it's not just so about them but more of their costumes this one i think was about 65 pounds ish but i will put in all the description where i got them from and the cost and everything i like this one because it's got really lovely gold hardware on it just your normal lounge fry tag on there it does have side pockets a nice deep insert pocket there i mean you could fit like mobile phone and other bits in there you've got a cream hardware for the plaque i have taken all the stuff out of all of these to help prevent the noise on the back you've just got the same print in all over print lovely cream well padded straps as you can see i've not used this one yet an inside zip pocket which i love and then inside you've just sort of got the same color scheme but they are hundred and thousands sprinkles type inside print about it 
I think that's just absolutely beautiful one. Next one I got from them was, I am very particular about um, characters rather than whole films. Eeyore, Lotso and Tinkerbell are definitely my main three ones I resonate towards first. So, yes, when this one came out, this was a must. This was like the top of my wish list after Eeyore. So I was so happy that I managed to get it really easily. So you've got the Tinkerbell sort of colouring of green cream with all over print of Tinkerbell. Again, like the previous ones, a nice decent front pocket. Side pockets. Inside you've got the silhouette of Tinkerbell. This bag is really more special for that reason because uh, last week me and my two oldest friends we went and actually got matching Tinkerbell tattoos. I got, if you can see, I got the one of her proper uh, proper sort of outline drawing but my two best friends they got the silhouette one so to me this bag is just so special because it just sort of reminds me so much of us three. You do have a inside zip pocket and then just the back it's just again the same colouring nice thick padded green straps green base rather than an all over print so that's another one I must admit I do actually get very drawn to sort of the lighter colours rather than a lot of really dark bags just because I'm quite girly I suppose I don't really know next one is Little Mermaid Beauty and the Beast are all, are my favourite films though so when I saw this one I love it so much I have actually had this on my wish list for a long while so it's taken me a while to actually get it so this one as you can see is the Little Mermaid with Flounder this is more of a sort of um we got copper bronzy sort of hardware rather than sort of silver or just gold front pocket there you've got your plaque in the middle i love this coloring i just love the fact it's pink i love pink so um so this is like really really a lovely one to have for sort of spring summer time i love it's come with a bag charm of a starfish it's just completely plain on the back at the bottom has side pockets this one inside print I think is absolutely gorgeous if you can see it I hope it picks up well but it's flounder and some seaweed and um, sea urchins and starfish inside in a sort of fuchsia pink rather than these the lighter pink and it does have an inside zip. I think this is definitely a must for everyone's collection. I think this is going to be just ideal for any occasion. For that one. Next we have, this is sort of a cosplay costume one. I'd seen this on Instagram and I'd never seen these before until I watched an, uh, Miss Cherry's channel and saw this and i thought no it's stunning sorry it wasn't miss cherries it for this one this was cassie castles i saw for this one and this is the they bought this out for the anniversary of cinderella and this is her dress they have got now tiana one they have now got a bell one so i'm hoping to get them and then hopefully they'll bring out the rest of the princesses ones as well. As you can see, there's an all over pink in the style of her dress. You've got, I love the fact you've got the mice, Gus Gus and all those on there. You've got pink hardware there for the plaque, the bows. Another decent front pocket. No side pockets on this one. But look at the back. We have... Tape measures 
for the straps. I just think that just gives that a whole different dimension. I think it's absolutely gorgeous that they've incorporated that sort of thing onto it. Then you've got the bluebirds with their necklace on the back. Inside of here, you've just got an all over print of sort of silhouetted of the mice, birds, sewing stuff of like when they're making a dress inside of there. And you do have a nice inside pocket. I doubt I'm going to use this one on a, um everyday basis because I think it's just definitely needs to be brought out for special occasions, this one. But yeah, so there's the Cinderella dress. And the last one I have from Very Nico. I will, I'll, I'll probably do this in my Christmas video as well, but I will show you this now. This is my first ever Christmas one that came out this year with the matching ears, which I haven't taken off yet. But it's sort of like the sweet cookie cookies in the shape of Mickey and Minnie's head with different decorations on them. Ears are exactly the same. So on this one, you have the front pocket is no zip or anything because what this is designed to do is you've got the two clips to hold ears in. Obviously, you don't have to use this these this set that comes with them. So they're there to secure it, which I think is lovely for when you do go to parks and stuff like that. You've got cream plaque for there and it's just cream padded straps and an all over print all over. No side pockets, and I mean, the, the inside of this one has got to be one of the favourite ones I've got out of all of them, because I just, well, especially because I love Christmas so much, Christmas is my, my time of the year, but you've got sort of Christmas lining, sort of reminds me a bit like a Christmas sort of jumper lining, I would guess, with snowflakes and the Christmas colours. Do an advert, have an inside pocket on that. And I can't wait for the 1st of December to start using it. So that is my collection so far from Very Nico. Next collection I've got is from Funko. So some of these ones I will show you. I did actually get in a sale, so I got some really, really good bargains. So the first one I started with, this was not a sale item. But keeping the fact it was a, this is actually a Disney Parks one. And this is sort of a cosplay one. So this is slightly a bit bigger than the other ones. You've got a pocket sort of a lot higher up and a lot deeper. But I just love the scene of, from the film on this one. So, yeah, so you've got a nice deep front pocket that does go pretty much back down to, like, the level of the plaque. So you have got a nice deep pocket there. And I, I do like it because you can, the zip is hidden, so it doesn't take away from the print on the front. It's just a turquoise leather, faux leather on the back with the matching padded straps. Inside is so no but there's no inside pockets on these there is a couple of side ones though but if you can see a lot more colorful than the previous one very similar print to my other little mermaid one but as you can see a lot more bright colorful where you can see the characters like flounder and the sea creatures a lot clearer on that one so yes definitely will be one that'll be coming out to you soon. Now, I had shown this one on my previous video, but as I was doing Funko, I'll show this one again properly. So this was one I was after, after seeing it on Instagram and didn't think that I'd be able to get it here, but luckily Funko uh, sent me an email to say it'd come into stock, so it was a definite must. As you can see, it's an all over print of Halloween themed Winnie the Pooh and 
same on the back it's sort of a navy as well rather than black you do have side pockets gold 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 hardware on that one um and then you've got a black plaque and as you can see it's all of them dressed up for halloween and i love the fact that half a lumps are included in this one side pockets on this one and inside is sort of a lovely orange and black silhouette of poo and honey pot and it says boo and some sweets and also has a inside zipper so i loved using it this the week leading up to halloween and i got so many compliments about it so i want it to come around again so i can start using it again so there's that one Followed very closely to Little Mermaid is Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is a has a lot more sentiment to me because that was the very first film that I ever got brought from my uh, nan, which started then back way back then my VHS collection of the Disney movies. So, and I absolutely love the all over, over print ones, and. I have seen a lot of um, Beauty and the Beast ones. They've got similar ones to this in black, but I just love the lighter colour. I think this is ide ideal for just all year round to be used for all occasion. So as you can still see, it's an all over print of Belle. I love the fact that how clear that she is on the pockets rather than sort of cut off anywhere. So I really love the placement for this one. Cream colour, you've got your cream plaque, gold hardware on this one. And on the bottom, you've got the print as well. You do have two side pockets on this one. And inside this one, the lining is a bit plain on this one. It is literally, I don't even know how well you'd be able to pick that up. It is cream, but with sort of a very sort of jacquard print of the roses inside. Oh, you can probably see it clearer that way. But they're very, very faint. But this will be my next bag I'll be using leading up to Christmas, methinks. So that was, I think that one was a full price one. I think that was about £65. But as I said, I will list in the description um, where I got them all from and how much they were. I don't know if like some of the sale items are still there or not, but it doesn't hurt to have a look, for, look does it? Right, so here's my bargains. First one I got was this bomb bag fanny pack. Um, I don't know if I, if you know from my first video I done, um, I am in a wheelchair, so obviously bags for me are really, really crucial. Um, they have to be comfortable. They can't get in my way when I'm controlling my chair and stuff. So. Sometimes with the rucksacks, if I don't position them right, they do slide about. So I do have to be careful with those. So when I saw that lounge flight, I brought out this. And especially as it had mainly eel on it rather than Tigger or Piglet, which normally do go very close with the Winnie, Winnie the Pooh, it was a must. It's just a black, grey, cream, striped. Um... Inside, you've just got like poo and eel printed on to grey lining. The plaque for this is actually inside the bag, which is a sort of same charcoal grey print. Silver hardware. Um, you don't have an inside zip on this, but it is really, really deep. So I'd be able to fit like purse and everything in that bit, no problem. But you do also have an additional front pocket i mean to other people it might not be as special as what it is to me but i absolutely love it i can't wait to use it so for this one i had i have a wish list of like the ones that were sort of like more important for me to get so the ones i got in the sale weren't really on the thing but when I saw them and that they were on offer I was like yeah and now actually I've got this I love it a lot more than what I 
thought I thought it was just going to be part of my collection rather than everyday use one but when it turned up and actually I looked at it all so much better I just absolutely love it I think it's stunning so you've got a cream main bag the pocket is actually a popper pocket with tartan on it the red and the cream cr contrast together is absolutely beautiful you got your plaque on the side with two side pockets that are tartan the straps themselves are just a padded red rather than tartan and then you've got the famous meatballs and pasta on the back there inside you do have also an inside zip and then you have the famous meatball seam on a stripy red print inside and i think in a sale this was about 35 40 pounds it was no more than that i do know i don't think so but i will confirm it and i will list it all below but absolutely love this and i will be using this sooner rather than later to go with my slight obsession with winnie the pooh etc this one there is a new one being brought out for their 95th anniversary in a couple of months which i have um planned to get but as the 95th one is obviously going to be more important being an anniversary one and i was I'm a bit wary about using the anniversary ones because I obviously want to keep them in good nick. I thought when I saw this one, I thought this is a good one to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, this one doesn't have any front pockets. It is just all about the picture. And you've got a nice sort of lime green plaque right in the middle of there. On the back, you it's sort of a tan colour all over the back same with matching straps you do have side pockets on this one inside no inside pocket and it is just a plain cream inside this is um slightly bigger than the other land flies like the other one i showed you like the little mermaid one but this one is a lot better for every day because it is not really really deep so you can put loads of stuff in there on a day-to-day -day basis so absolutely love that one. And I think that was like £35. Next one I got, again, a bit like the Ladies and Tramp one. I just mainly sort of thought of ones that I'd like as part of my collection, but not really sort of thought so much about. They weren't like the top of my list to buy. And then I've sort of been ooming and ahhing about this on other sites. And I wasn't 100% sure how much I wanted it sort of desperately. And then this went into the same sale as the Winnie the Pooh and the Lady and Tramp so I thought definitely had to get it. it was a sign it was meant for me so very similar to the layout of my Little Mermaid one so you've got the pocket higher up so it's more about the scene of the from the film rather than so it doesn't ruin the look of that at all so again a nice deep pocket on this one you've got the a brown plaque on the side and it's sort of a chocolatey brown and cream straps and plain back inside this i mean i didn't actually know what the inside was at like till i got home till it got here and you got all the seven dwarfs with some flowers and you do have a lovely zip inside pocket gold hardware on this one and it is a lot more stunning than what I actually thought it would be so that's gonna definitely be one to be used soon and then finally for the Funko haul I'd seen so many of the candy ones ice cream ones about and I wasn't really sure sort of like if I wanted one or when I was gonna get them but I saw this one and as it went into the sale i think again about 35 ish 40 pounds i paid for this one i had to get this one so this is a ice cream sundae one as you can see with a little cherry mickey on the top there you've got the similar type front pocket as what you do on the lady and tramp one so it's a popper one rather than a zip and it's sort of got 
the waffle colouring at the bottom, so sort of a orangey beige colour and the sort of beige for the hardware there. I am so wary with the bags that have the attachments on top of them because I'm just so scared that they get like bent or ruined or anything like that. But I have seen some really good advice on what to do if that does happen. So straps are just a chocolatey brown straps. And then inside, like the Christmas one, very similar to the Christmas one. Oh no, sorry, not the Christmas one, the donut one. You've got sprinkles. But on this one, you've got little Mickey heads as well. No side pockets, but you do have an inside pocket on this one. So I also did have on order a Bambi one that was also in the sale, but they sold out of it. So I didn't get that one. So I'm sad by that one because that was a beautiful one. So hopefully I can get it again elsewhere. But yeah, so that is my lounge fly for today with the two companies i hope you enjoyed what you saw and if you have any comments or questions do message me or you can follow me on instagram or, um please click and subscribe if you like what you saw and obviously you want to see part two upcoming ones i'll be doing is christmas as well so like and subscribe and i hope to see you all again soon take care of yourselves bye